Hey guys, ADHD here, and today's video I'll teach you guys how to build Clarence's house from the TV show Clarence, and we're gonna start in that right now. Um, as always, guys, if you actually build this, feel free to send me a picture of it on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to check it out. So, but anyway, let's get started on what you're gonna need for this build. So, what you're gonna need first off is yellow wool. You're gonna need orange stained clay. You're gonna need green stained clay. You're gonna need sandstone. You're gonna need white stained glass panes. And you're also gonna need some nether brick stairs. And we're gonna need a few other other items, but none of those are really that important just yet. We'll get to those when we get to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the yellow wool right here at the beginning. As always guys, feel free to pause it or rewind at any point in the video if you feel like I'm going too fast. You can always do that to catch up. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the yellow row and we're gonna go straight up a total of six blocks of yellow wool. Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. So one straight row of six yellow wool, just like this. And come up here to the top and we're gonna go to the right, a total of eight blocks. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then we're gonna take that eighth block right here and take this all the way down to the floor, just like this. Okay, perfect, so that's what you should have right here. Now what we're gonna do is come back up on top of this and you're gonna go in one block and you're gonna take this all the way to this side till you get one away from this end, okay? So basically you make like a stair type thing, you know, for, you know, just kind of like a pointed roof, okay? So one block here all the way to get to one block here, okay? Next we're gonna do the exact same thing. Go in one block, until you get to the same you know distance on this side okay next row do the same exact thing and then the final row just go ahead and do one in the middle just like that okay so this is what you should have right now feel free to pause it or anything you need to do to make sure you have this as well okay you should be good okay so now what we're gonna do is come down here to the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and taking a spacing right here from this bottom area right here we have right here we're gonna do a spacing of three blocks so it'll be one two three then right here in the fourth block we're gonna get the sandstone out okay and we're gonna go to the right it's a total of one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 13 with the sandstone, just like that, okay? Then on top of that, you're gonna do the exact same thing twice. That's one row, then this is the second one, and then one more on top of that for a third row, just like this, okay? Now what we're gonna do is this. You're gonna follow along with me from this end of the sandstone all the way to the right end of the sandstone. You're gonna go two yellow stone, or two yellow wool, one, two, then you're gonna do two of the glass pane, or no, four of the glass pane, sorry about that. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to do two glass or two yellow wool. One, two. Then you're going to do four of the glass pane. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna do one yellow wool. Okay? The next row did that exact same thing. Okay, so just follow along what you just did right below it. And we're not gonna do any of the detailing until the end of the build, guys. So right now we're just doing the actual house and then we're gonna add all the detailing, like you know, the little lights and stuff on the you know the house later. Okay. Once you've done that, come back over to the left side and you're gonna do a straight row of yellow wool from the left side all the way to the right. Okay? Just like this. Okay, until you get to over here. And then go ahead and connect this to the front area right here. The you know the little first little tower we made over here, connect it to this little area we made right here, just like this. Okay, so you should have something that looks just like this, really nice and simple. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually add in the doors in that little area real quick. So right now you're gonna get your orange uh, stained clay real quick out, and you're gonna come inside right here, and you're gonna go inside right here, and just basically be, it's kinda hard to explain, but just be one block in from the little you know opening we made here for the garage, okay? So the first three rows are gonna be with the orange stained clay, just like this. Okay, one, two, three, then the next row is gonna be stained clay, then a glass, a stained clay, a glass, a stained clay, a glass, and then a stained clay. And then the final row is all stained clay. Okay, so just to show you guys what it looks like now, this is what it should look like, okay? And like I said, we're gonna add a you know, little door handle right here too later. We'll do all that detailing at the end when we do the exterior, okay? So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna add the, basically the little front area. So what you're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get the, um, what are they called? These things, there you are, it's the stone slabs out real quick. And go ahead and just do one right here that connects a row of stone slabs that connect these two in this little arc we have right here, okay? And then in front of that, do the exact same thing. Okay, now behind these slabs, we're gonna get the green wool out and we're gonna do a row of basically however tall this is. So it's gonna be one, then two, three, four, five. Just like that, so five rows of that green wool and that's what we're gonna have there. We're actually gonna go ahead and just add the, the, the door real quick. It kinda looks weird about the door real quick, the, the door handle. So we're gonna get your button out real quick and go ahead and add it to the middle block right here, the middle uh, you know, orange stained clay. 
And then over here on the door, look at you know the center window, go all the way down to the bottom and add that button there too. That's like a little door handle for the uh, garage and then the door handle for the door. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of a house design here. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on these sides and then we're gonna do the back and then we're gonna add the roof. So let's get started on the sides real quick. Okay, so we're gonna start right here on the right side real quick. So if you're looking at the front, this is the right side. We're gonna go ahead and take this bottom area here, the sandstone, all the way to the back, a total of 12 blocks, okay? So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, just like that. And then two, do two more rows, that exact same thing, okay? So that's one, and then two for a total of three, okay? Just like this, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and do three, two rows of the uh, yellow wool going straight up to the same exact height as this wool right here. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're gonna get your glass panes out back again, and you're gonna do seven glass panes. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then do three uh, the wool the exact same way we did, the exact same height as the ones over there, really. Okay, just like this. And then go ahead and connect, uh, connect both those uh, yellow wools just like this, okay? And then right here, go ahead and add your windows and finish it up real quick, closing this window area. So this is what it should look like. I'll go ahead and you go ahead and pause it if you need to, to verify what it looks like. It's just basically three rows of sandstone. And then, you know, the wool, you guys did it with me. So just like that, okay? And now let's get started on the left side real quick, okay? And the left side is extremely simple because all it is is yellow wool. You're just going to get this yellow wool from this side and take it all the way down that way. A total of 12 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then just go ahead and go all the way up so you get to the exact same height as this first row of the you know first little like point we have here. Okay, so just take it all the way up to that exact same height with the yellow wool. That's the only block we're going to have here. And then eventually we're gonna put a shed out here, but that's actually really easy to add. We'll do that last as well, along with the, you know, the detailing of the exterior. Okay, so that is that. And now let's go ahead and add the back. Okay, so for the back, what you're gonna do is get the sandstone back out. And we're gonna take the sandstone we have on the left side and take it all the way over there. Or I think this is the right side if we're looking front of, uh, right at it. So from the right side all the way to the left side, really doesn't matter what side you start at. You're just getting the sandstone, taking it all the way across to the other side. Okay, and then you're gonna do that exact same thing for two more rows. Just like this. And then do one more. Okay, just like that. Okay, this is what we're gonna do next, guys. We're gonna go ahead and follow along with me from the left side all the way to the right. We're looking at the back again. And we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, yellow wool out and you're gonna go do two yellow wool, one, two. Then you're gonna get the glass panes out and you're gonna do four glass panes, one, two, three, four. Then three yellow wool, one, two, three. Then four glass panes, one, two, three, four. Then three yellow wool, one, two, three. Then four glass panes, one, two, three, four. And then finish it up with the yellow wool, okay? Then the next row, do that exact same thing, guys. So just follow along and just do that exact same thing right below, you know, right on top of what you just did. So really simple, nothing too much to that. It's actually a really easy house to build now that you guys are, I'm sure you guys realize that now that you're into it, it's really easy. Okay, and then on top of this, you're gonna do one row of the yellow wool, just like this. And take this all the way down, all the way to this side, and we are good almost, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and mimic what we have over there. You see where these points are we did on this side? Basically do the exact same thing. So what you're gonna do is on this right side over here, you're gonna go in one block, and go to the left until so you get to the exact same length as the side right in front of you. Okay, so it should be a total of, what is this, uh, seven blocks. So one away from the edge, then seven blocks. Then again, we're gonna do the exact same thing we did on that side, go in on both sides, one block, just like this. And then do the same thing on the next row. And then the last one, just do one on top, just like that, okay? Super easy, guys. This house is ridiculously easy, actually, compared to the, you know, the, the Watersons house and the regular show house. This was actually a lot easier. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and add the roofing real quick. So go ahead and get your nether brick stairs out and let's get started. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna start on the roofing. What you're gonna do is we're actually gonna need the yellow wool real quick first. So what you're gonna do is right where this beam is, you're gonna go on top and you're gonna get your wool, take your yellow wool and go all the way around to get the exact same place over there on that side with the yellow wool. Okay, I know it seems a little bit weird, but this is actually gonna be blocked actually once we add these stairs. This is just for us to have a block to place the stairs on. Also, so there's not a gap right here once we've actually finished the roof, okay? So then come back over here to the front. What you're gonna do is this. 
is on that little block where we just started, you're gonna go ahead and do one diagonal block, just our one sideways stair, just like this, then do one forward like that. So they, they kind of turn like this and curve and attach to each other. Then take this all the way around so you get to the other side of the uh, the you know the house over there, okay? Basically where we finished off this row over there as well. Okay, so just take this all the way down and then bring it over here and then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Make sure it matches up. And then right here, do the exact same thing. Add that curve, that turn stair. Should be right here actually. So make sure it's matching the other side. So our turn stair is gonna be right here, just like that. Okay, and then come back over here to the front. And what we're gonna do is now they do the next row. So the next row, what you're gonna do is add a side or a forward stair right here and bring it out one like that, okay? And then take this all the way around as well, just like this. I know it's kind of hard to explain. That's why I'm not skipping ahead so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but it really is kind of hard to explain. You just kind of have to follow along. Okay, and then once you get here, the exact same thing. You're going to do a sideways stair and then a sideways stair that comes off. Okay, just like that. And then the next row, do the exact same thing. You're going to go ahead and do this one more time. You're going to add a stair, a side stair. Then you're going to add a stair this way so that way we're not on top of each other. And then take this all the way around as well. Just like this. And then just make sure they're, you have to make sure they're curving guys because they don't turn, it just kind of looks a little bit odd. Unless they turn like that, you don't want them to turn like that. <laughs> I swear the stairs never work for me guys, I always have frustrations with them. Like this is like my third time recording this part because the stairs always just mess up every time. <laughs> okay, just like this, then we get over here, you want to have the turn stair that comes off one just like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now what you want to do guys is come back over to the front. And now do the exact same thing with the stairs, make sure it's off one, and you're just gonna take this one all the way across. You don't have to go anywhere with this one, just take it all the way across, okay? And then on this top one, you wanna get your nether brick slab and take this one all the way across as well. Always making sure it's one off though on every side. Okay, next side over here, you're gonna go back to the stairs, we're gonna start going downward now. Okay, I'm not gonna skip ahead for this part. Just to, actually I might skip ahead for this part, I'm not sure. <laughs> but otherwise I'm not if I don't I'm gonna keep talking <laughs> if I do I do but just go ahead and go all the way down I don't think I am just because I want you guys to be able to see everything I'm doing just to be sure uh, see these are this is what takes me so long the stairs every time because the stairs never work for me ever they always just for some reason mess up constantly okay and take these all the way down and so you get to the bottom row right here and this is our last row we do have one that's messed up on the inside there, and I'll fix that later. Okay, so this is what it should look like, just like this. Now what you're gonna do is get the nether rack out real quick, and you're gonna go along the top of this area, just like this. Okay, not on top, but on the you know, leveled with these stairs, you're gonna take the nether rack and take this all the way around, or all the way on top, and just cover everything up. Just make sure it's leveled with the stairs, not above the stairs, okay? And again, I'm not gonna skip ahead for this part because we're almost done with this roofing real quick. This roofing has taken me a lot longer than you guys can actually see on the video. Um, it's I've been this is like my fourth attempt at it without the roof messing up or something, or me making a mistake on it. Um, we finally did it though, so <laughs> I'm really I'm really happy and tired at the same time. Okay, so that's it real quick. Um, one more or two more rows. Sorry about that. See, and then the, she's like, this is just so the stairs and the like, the roof and the slabs is always so problematic. Okay, there you go. And we're finished. Okay, so that is the roof real quick, guys. So now that we have the roof done, we're gonna go inside and just do the flooring real quick. And then once we do that, we're gonna get started on the exterior stuff, which is actually super, super easy. Give yourself a round of applause because that is actually the hardest part of the house. If you've gotten done with this part, you know, you're practically done. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Or I'll start, guys, real quick, just before we get started on the, um, we'll, we'll add that later, actually, never mind. So let's get started on the interior real quick, and then we'll get started on all the exterior stuff later. Okay, guys, so now we're inside real quick. As you guys can see, I'm gonna drink a night vision potion to get some better lighting in here. So what we're gonna do real quick is get your yellow wool out, and we're gonna go around this stair and this door area, uh, because simply because the stair and the door, or the stair, I mean the garage and the door are actually just for looks. They don't actually, it's not actually how you even enter the house. There's another entrance we're gonna make later, um, but for now, you're just gonna do that. And what you wanna do is right where the garage, or the garage door starts, you wanna just build this little staircase kind of. Okay, one block away on this beam, just like this. It kind of just goes up until the leveling of the windows, just like this, okay? Then the next row, just like that. Until you get up here. And then this row right here is where we're just gonna stop. 
or right here actually. So what you're gonna do now is from here, you're just gonna go ahead and level this out with the oak stairs or oak planks, whatever you want the flooring to be really. And you just wanna make it leveled like this because then the windows aren't too high and you know you can see out all the windows. Okay, so let's take this all the way around the top just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead for this, but what you're gonna do is right here, you're gonna fill this in with the oak plank and then you're gonna remove all of this dirt right here and you're gonna replace this with stone, okay? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead, but again, this is gonna be finished up with the wood. Then we're gonna add some stairs right here like this. Do that right now, actually. And then this whole bottom area down here is gonna be replaced with the stone blocks, okay? So stone and then wood. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, guys, this is what it should look like once you have it finished. Let's go ahead and get back outside. Now we're gonna be finishing up the last couple things it takes to finish up this house. Um, and then what we're gonna do is get the red stained clay out real quick. And what you're gonna do is on the left side of the garage right here, you're gonna go in a total of three blocks. One, two, three. Go ahead and do a row of three red wool going out. One, two, three. And then do that exact same thing two more times, just like this. Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is go diagonal block and do the exact same thing for three rows. So that's two and then three. And then go diagonal down one and do the exact same thing we did on that side, just like this. Okay. And this is a little shed that Clarence seems to have on the side of his house for whatever reason. Um, we're actually gonna be turning this into our actual entrance to the home, okay? So what you're gonna do now is make a little door arc right in this area right here, okay? Door arc you'd make for any door in Minecraft. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a row of the nether slabs on top of this real quick and turn this into, you just give this thing a little roof, just like this. Okay, same thing on this side over here. And then right in the front of the door, we're gonna go ahead and add our door, just like that, nothing too special. And then this is our entrance. I went ahead and went with the, um, you know, the, the stone entrance, but you can go ahead and change that whatever you'd like. Okay, and that is his little shed right there. And then what you're gonna do is right here on the front, I did not show you guys this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you it again just to be sure. On these window seals right here, on this window right here, you're gonna go ahead and add some window seals by getting the, uh, the what's it called, the uh, sandstone slabs and go along the windows just like this. Okay, now what you're gonna do is on this little area right here where you know his door is, you're gonna go ahead and add one block right here by putting a item frame. Then we're gonna get the torches out real quick, or one torch actually to be exact. And we're gonna go ahead and do a little torch glitch. You're gonna put a torch right there and then put a torch off the side of that to make this little torch lamp type of thing. And that should be the little lamp that, Laurent, uh, that Clarence has in his uh, porch. I almost called him Lawrence for some reason. And then uh, now we're gonna add the faucet that he has real quick. And we're gonna use a trip wire for that real quick. And this, like I said, is just a little faucet that he has outside of his house. And that is one block below the window still, just like that. Okay, so that is actually Clarence's house. Now we are gonna add the exterior, which is like his garden and then his fence, as you guys can see on the example one over there, his little garden and then his, or not his garden, but just his messy, you know, front yard. And then, you know, like just little details of the yard. And that's it, and then we're gonna be finished with the house. Okay, so we're gonna start with the stone real quick, and you're gonna go to the garage real quick, and just remove all of these blocks that are in this garage area, and you're gonna bring it out until you're 10 blocks out that way. So this is already um, one block right here, not counting this one, it's one. Then you're gonna do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's go ahead and do 11, actually, okay? And then go ahead and just basically remove all this area within the garage bounds, just like this, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this real quick and then skip ahead. And you're just gonna remove all this and then fill it in with the stone uh, block. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip, it and skip ahead and do that. Okay, and then once you've done that, you should have this. And then go ahead and get these two blocks right here in front of the, uh, the door, you know, little porch area and remove those as well, these two rows, just like that, connected to the driveway, just like that. Okay, now what you're gonna do is right over here, this window seal, you're gonna go ahead and get your uh, leaves back, your leaves out real quick, and you're gonna do two leaves that are, you know, one away from this little, you know, water fossil we put there, one, two, just like that, and on top of that, do two red carpets, that's where, door, you know, Clarence's doormat has somehow got in. I'm not really sure how his doormat got there, but that's, you know, where his doormat is. Okay, and then get the dead, um, what do they call the dead brush real quick, and do four of those below this window, just like this. Okay, if you can. Uh, matter of fact, for some reason I can't place it. Let me see, maybe you need lighting or something. Let me see. Um, huh, why is that? I was able to place it before. Let me see if this is the reason. Huh, I don't know why I can't place them. But what you want to do normally is do the bushes just like this. We're going to put those for now. Um, but if you can put them, for whatever reason I can't, you want to put the dead bush just like this, like I said, around this area. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do is come over here to the front right here. 
where his little driveway is. And you want to go ahead and get the cobblestone out, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and make some boulders right here. So just go ahead and put any random amount of, you know, cobblestone and then some slabs like this. Um, you can follow along with what I'm doing here, as you can see. But I'm not really doing anything particular. You just want to make it kind of look like boulders. Um, just like that, see? It doesn't really look too much like boulders, but it's kind of the closest thing we can get to in Minecraft. <laughs> because for some reason, Clar Clarence has boulders in front of his driveway, just like that. And then what you want to do is get out the, what are they called, the tall grass real quick. And you want to just go ahead and scatter these around the um, the front yard area. Don't go past the driveway though. You know, just stay within this area right here. You just want to kind of messily place these everywhere. Not really anywhere particular. Just kind of messily drop them. Okay? And this just kind of makes the, you know, the shiftiness of Clarence's front yard. <laughs> it's really, there's just so much detail to Clarence's front yard. It's almost impossible to get all of it. There's like oil stains on his driveway and cracks and, you know, multiple antennas. It's just really hard to get all of that kind of stuff in Minecraft. So I wanted to keep it simple for the most part and just do the simple stuff like this. Okay, so now we have that done. What you're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add this little bush he has over here on the side. And what you're going to do to do that is just go ahead and get out the fence and you're going to get out some leaves and you're going to go two blocks or one block in and then two blocks away from the house and go ahead and add a oak leaf just like that and then two leaves or not oak leaf a uh, oak fence then two leaves on top just like that okay now what we're going to do guys is actually the simplest part we're almost finished with this house guys get these spruce blocks out just like this and you're going to go ahead and go five blocks away from the house not from the shed from the house or it's no six blocks sorry about that so one two three four five six and on the seventh block right here, we're gonna get the oak fence or the oak uh, blocks out and measure them to the same length as the driveway. And you're gonna take this all the way around the house, just like this. And in the back, you want it to be at least three blocks. It doesn't really matter, but just at least three blocks away from the back of the house. Okay, and take this all the way around so you get to the other side. And then once you get over here, again, you wanna count and make sure you're six blocks away from the wall, which would be a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then take this all the way to this side as well, just like this. Until again, you measure up with the driveway and then go ahead and just double up on that whole thing. So you wanna make it two blocks high. Okay, so just take this all the way around. You could use fences if you want to, but they don't really look as good and as accurate to the real thing. I just think it looks better to do this because they're like, they're not like normal Minecraft fences. They're like some, you know, they're more solid fences, almost like walls kind of, but they're kind of, but they're picket fences, okay. So just take these all the way around just like this. And then once you get over here, we're gonna add the final touch to finish Clarence's house's re house real quick. What you're gonna do is get out all of these flowers right here, the red tulip, orange, white, and pink, and go over here to the little shed. And you're gonna go basically two blocks away from the shed if you were to you know, stand right click next to it. And against the fence, go ahead and just put these in a row just like this, okay? And that is actually it, guys. I know that was a lot of work. It really was, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was a lot of work. It was really easy at the beginning, but it got harder as we went, it seemed like. Okay, so that is it, go guys. If you guys can hit the video to like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do tutorials on all kinds of crazy Minecraft houses. Right now, I'm doing a bunch of crazy Cartoon Network ones. We have the Watterson's house, the Teen Titans towers, the Teen Titans go tower, the regular show house, all kinds of my, uh, you know, Cartoon Network houses and all kinds of other cartoon houses to come. Um, so subscribe for that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. Hey guys, welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for making here on the right side of your screen, which is recommended video. You can go ahead and click on that, and that'll take the last video on my other channel, where I show you guys this really awesome real-life version of the mystery box from Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, awesome video, definitely recommend you check that out. And on the left side of your screen, where it says previous video, you can go ahead and click on that, and now take the last video on this channel, where I show you guys this awesome skull survival house I made. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that on Friday, so I definitely recommend you check that video out now. Um, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you're on the mobile app, you can get to both these videos by clicking the card button on the top right side of your screen. But anyway guys, thank you so much for just watching this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.